Hi, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my September wrap up. So this is again another different view than we've had before. My bookshelf is actually behind you right now. My tripod has broken from my little, well, my little phone tripod. Um, so for now I'm using the bookshelf as a stand, but I guess we've got some nice welcome to your new home cards in the background and the shed. What more do you need in your view than the shed? So. In September, um, we'll just jump into this because I keep ram I'm just rambling in all videos now. In September, I read nine books and I rated eight of them, a bit more than a second. So my average rating was 3.5 stars. I had two one two star book, four three star books, one four star book and two five star books and one that I didn't rate. Um, to talk about that one first, that was Mooncakes by Suzanne Walker. Um, so I was fortunate enough to get an arc of this on NetGalley um, but graphic novels just really aren't my thing. So I did enjoy reading this, um, I, it was fun, but I don't know what I'm supposed to get out of an ebook, whether it's just me not liking them as a book format, or if there was something missing in the story overall. I know a lot of people are excited to read this, so in a way I feel bad that I got an arc and didn't really appreciate it. Um, but I'm just still trying to get myself hooked in to the graphic novel world. Um, so that one did not get a rating, but I did enjoy it. And I'll be interested to see what other people think that have read it and who are frequent ebook, uh, frequent graphic novel readers. I'm so tired today. I do apologise if I just go off on a complete tangent. Um, so the two star book I read was The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker which actually I was gonna say I don't have, but due to a bit of drama in my traveling book club, I can't show you their address obviously, I still have. As the girl who um, gave us this book to read has like stopped contacting everyone. So the other two members of the group, I'm fortunate enough to have my book back. Um, so I have Going Bovine by Libba Bray with annotations from the other girls in the group. But the girl whose book this is um, has just stopped communicating. So I've decided to hold on to her book until the other two girls see their books back. Um, which, I don't know, I'm not really holding out much. It is just a book. She may decide that she doesn't care. Um, but yeah, I'm keeping it. But as an actual book, I did not enjoy this. Um, it was, I might actually, I've done a little note with my rating. Maybe I'll read you that. Maybe this is a new format. Um, so this is my little note that is in the back of the book for them, which says, sadly, ladies, this book was not my favourite. It was just a lot of war, sex, brutality and bitchiness. But at the same time, I felt like nothing happened. Historical fiction just isn't my cup of tea, but still, thank you for opening my eyes to something new. So, yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't enjoy it. This is about Achilles um, and Achilles and his army take over a small town and they basically kidnap all the women and decide they now are like their slaves and not just for cleaning let's say without making too much information um but yeah it wasn't my cup of tea the way it was all described was a bit too much no i don't really want to talk about it anymore um i think i gave it two stars just because i enjoyed the experience of reading it and leaving annotations if it wasn't for that i would have dnf'd it about 50 pages in uh, so three stars, I actually have none of these books physically. The first one being Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I hope I pronounced that right. So this is a book about a girl who goes to American college and she feels like she achieved basically nothing. I realise I'm swivelling. Um, achieved nothing, she made no friends um, and she just wants to try and do it again. So she goes to a semester abroad programme um, in London and basically just decides to live a different way and there's a guy she likes the guy's got a girlfriend but she doesn't see that as a problem which is one of my main problems with this book um and it gets a bit so i enjoyed the first half of the book then we threw in some magical realism and i wasn't really a fan um I went in thinking straight contemporary and the contemporary was doing really really well and then the magical realism was just like an absolute flop in my eyes. So that got a three stars. I did enjoy it but I will not be reading it again. Um, the next book is Sadie by Courtney Summers. 
I know, don't shoot me, I gave this three stars. I didn't see the magic that everyone else seems to see with this book. I listened to it on audiobook, which is what everyone says to do. Um, the podcasts were cool, which is what everyone says. Um, and I just saw it was a bit flat towards the end. I knew exactly what was happening. It wasn't really a mystery as I got to the end. Um, but maybe I've just been reading too many mysteries with that twist and like what was going on. So I, I knew. Um, but yeah, I wasn't blown away like everyone else. Maybe I just didn't get swept up in the hype. Um, the next book is Am I Normal Yet by Holly Bourne. I read this knowing fully well that I don't like Holly Bourne's writing. Um, because I knew I can read it quickly. So I read this in day one of the Contemporary-a-thon, um, which was also a flop. But three stars because... Um, so this is a girl about a girl called Evie. I do have a little cousin called Evie, so I thought I was due who has severe OCD. Um, so she will wash her hands until they bleed. She has a lot of things she has to do in like sequences and numbers and being inside her head in this part of the book was very emotional. And I think if the book was just about that, I may have even given it five stars. Um, it was a little bit predictable what was gonna happen, but I feel like in contemporaries, that's just how it's going for me at the moment. I seem to work it out. Um, we did say that maybe I'm reading too many contemporaries, but I enjoy them, so I'm not gonna stop. Um, so it was, and then with OCD knockbacks and when things were relapsing, then I was getting very emotional for the main character. I felt really upset. I was crying quite a lot, but I did not enjoy the spinster club element of this book. I felt like it just wasn't really needed, but it is the start of the series, like each girl in the friendship group has her story plus the spinster club which brings them all together and in my head it, it wasn't needed i didn't need a chapter talking about periods if i'm quite frank like i don't want to go into it too much but i was much more interested in her um act like how she behaved and her brain and what was happening which is what i really really enjoyed so i just think it, it really dragged it down to listen to a page of we don't talk about periods enough really and I feel like that could have been a completely different book and I could have avoided it rather than just the hard-hitting contemporary that I wanted. So moving on swiftly, um, the next book I read was Room Empty by Sarah Moosey. This was the only other book I read in the Contemporary-a-thon and again I gave this three stars. So this was about, I can't remember her name which is dreadful, our main character who has um, anorexia and then she gets close to a guy who is a, um, a cocaine, a cocaine addict? I think it was cocaine. I don't know. It was like a street name for a drug that I've now forgotten. Um, but I'm sure it was cocaine. <laughs> and they form, like, they want to be sober buddies. Um, and it was just quite... It was quite hard hitting. There was a girl in the, this isn't a spoiler, it happened in the first chapter, I think. There was a girl in the house who had committed suicide and a main character found her. And reading that was really, really emotional. A lot of the stuff, like you've got her inside thoughts about eating and it was just, it hurt to read. Um, but then it all just went a bit flat. It was more of a situation of, um, which it said on the back like will these guys fall in love and will that save them both from their problems and it was sort of trying to do the romance saves all issues thing which so the emotional stuff gave it the three stars and the love saves all really sort of capped it i think we've sort of grown past that now and i might look at when this was published because that might explain it but we have grown past the love conquers everything like these people had genuine problems and them having a relationship would only make it worse. And I think maybe that's the message the book was trying to get across, but it just missed it for me, I'm afraid. The only four star book I read was what I feel like I read ages ago, and that is Legendary by Stephanie Garber. So I read this, I think I finished it on the first day of the month, which is why it feels so, so old. I liked this about the same as um caraval which is up there like i can't reach it from here um i don't really know how much to say because obviously it's a sequel but everyone knows the caraval books by now um and this is the sequel which follows 
the sister Donatella or Teller. So the last book follows Scarlet. Or is that the other way around? No, this one's Teller, that one's Scarlet. And we finally get, oh, actually, no. I can't even say what finally is revealed because if you haven't read the first one, that will ruin everything as well. Um, but it did take me a very long time to read. I think I was reading this for about two weeks. So I was really reading it in August and finished it in September. So because it did take me so long, I couldn't quite give it five stars because I feel like there was something missing. But the final couple of chapters of this book flew by and I loved it. Um, I will definitely reading, be reading Finale, but I want to wait until we have this lovely paperback edition that I have Caraval and Legendary in. So they all have to match. Apart from that, I'll be buying it as soon as possible. And finally, my two five star books. One of them I knew was going to hit the list, and that is A Midnight Alley by Rachel Kane. This is the third book in the Morganville Vampires series. So I am rereading the entire series. I think I've never read the last book. I could be wrong. I'm looking at it now, and the spine isn't cracked at all. And I read these before I cared, so they are normally quite cracked. Um, this one's like got a bit of a dent. So this was the second time I read this book, maybe the third. I didn't write it down before this. And I do need to get back into putting my post-it notes in books that tell me when I read them, because I think it's really important. I like to be able to see. I haven't done it in any of these. I can't even prove my point. What is wrong with me? Why did I stop? Have I done it in this one? There we go. I've got the dates in to all the boys I looked before. So I like to make a quick note of when I read them, how long it took me to read read them how long it took me to read them words are not working i might get rid of this video and completely refilm it if i'm honest i don't know what's happening to me my my words aren't working but book three last time i read it i gave it four stars and i bumped up to five this was a wild ride i absolutely loved it i can't talk about this series more it was absolutely amazing and I remember thinking that I didn't like this book out of all of them. It was probably one of my least favourites, but it was so emotional. I think I picked up on more stuff reading it again than I did when I was younger, because I must have read this when I was about 13. So this came out in 2007. So it actually came out when I was nine. I must have read it when I was about 13. Um, so reading it again, I picked up on more of the little intricacies that make this book so great. So five stars and the next book, Feast of Falls, will be hitting my TBR very soon. I think I might even pick it up tonight because I just love it so much. And I want to read another one in the series. And my favourite, oh, I don't want to say my favourite now because Midnight Alley was amazing. One of my favourite books of the month is Are You Watching by Vincent Ralph. This is the arc. It comes out in February 2020. And I was very, very privileged, well, not privileged because I won it, but to win this in a Twitter giveaway uh, from the author. Um, I tabbed this book up. There are many tabs. We've got four, we've only got six tabs in this book. Um, and I haven't written on the pages. I did decide at some points to get a plain post-it note, like not coloured, and just put theory and like write down what I thought was going to happen. I didn't want to write it in. Um, just so I can reread it and take the post-its out and maybe not guess the ending again. Here we go. So I won't, oh, there's a little note here, like making me think the author wants you to think that somebody is guilty. Um, and these are tabbed up by blue, meaning Chloe has a theory. Um, yep. And uh, am I now sus suspecting this person? So I've rambled on about nothing there to give you some actual information. This is about a girl called Jessica who signs up for a reality YouTube series where she will have a day a week where she is followed by cameras. Um, she wants to do this because her mom was murdered when she was 10, I want to say she was 10, by a serial killer known as the Magpie Man. So she wants to use this day a week to advertise her story and to know, let the Magpie Man know that she is not going down quietly she wants to find out who he is and she wants him to be you know found guilty um so this was a again a wild ride um i did guess who it was well i guessed nearly who it was and i have had a chat with the author to say i nearly guessed it isn't that close enough um so i have really enjoyed reading this book i like connecting with the author through it as well i think um, I'm pretty sure this is his first book. 
I don't want to say that and it isn't and I just don't know. Are you watching your debut novel with a Q&A at the back? So is the author's debut novel. I think some great thrillers are going to come out of this guy because this was really good. I don't read many thrillers so maybe the fact that I guessed it is a bad sign and if you read a lot of thrillers then you you'll get it. Um, but I just like the reality show aspect. I think that's something that I pick out of a lot of genres like um, the selection by Kira Cass. I love the reality section. So that really had a great spin on this book and meant I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I will be getting my setup sorted soon so you won't have to look at our neighbor's house and our shed and like half dying tree. Um, but we will get that sorted pretty soon. Sorry about that. Um, but again, thank you for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.